Summer means a great time for a new WebStorm release. Let's take a look at some key features in WebStorm 2017.2. WebStorm has style settings such as single versus double quotes, but so does ESLint. With 2017.2, some of these settings can be reconciled. Open your .eslint RC file and you can now import some of the ESLint code style rules into WebStorm's JavaScript code style settings. Webpack drives many projects. WebStorm can detect your Webpack configuration file or let you configure it manually. Also, Webpack can remap imports using modules and aliases, and WebStorm now properly resolves these paths. For example, if you have a deeply nested module, you can then provide an alias in your Webpack configuration file. WebStorm can resolve imports using the alias from the Webpack configuration file. WebStorm has always made it easy to see the type of function and method arguments as you autocomplete. Now it's even easier with an IDE visual decoration for parameter name hints. These parameter name hints can be disabled in preferences as well as customized for specific usages. WebStorm has long provided visual testing for Mocha and 2017.2 extends this to visual coverage for Istanbul. Click on the Coverage button to run your Mocha tests under Istanbul Coverage. WebStorm then shows the coverage report information. Dive into areas of your code to look for gaps, and look in the gutter for color decorations with pop-ups for detailed information. In modern code bases, symbols are imported and exported repeatedly, making it a chore to move a symbol. WebStorm can take a set of symbols, move them to a new file, and update all the references in your code base. Perhaps you've noticed, NPM packages change frequently. WebStorm will now prompt you, and then do the NPM update work for you. This check is done when opening the project, updating from version control, or manually updating package.json. These are a few of the many new features in WebStorm 2017.2, showing the kinds of improvements and refinements we've been making. For full details, read the What's New in WebStorm 2017.2 page, and thanks for watching.